alongside Colin Morikawa and Colin nights like this how exciting is this for you to see all this new product out and so many people wearing it it's fun to see because you know we've actually seen little pieces put together here and there as time goes on but to actually come full circle and, uh, and have this kind of launch party for say uh, with the ZG23 with Ultimate Tour or 365 Tour um, it's exciting because I, I know it's going to work for us it's going to work for the consumer it's going to be great it really is and I understand with the ZG23, you had some input with the shoe. Tell us about that. Yeah, you know, uh, it's it's hard to update something you really like, right? And for me, you know, winning a few tournaments with the ZG21s, um, it's hard to actually want change. But when they are able to tell you, you know, hey, we can we can update this on the side, we can update the fins, we can update the Light Strike and the Light Strike Pro, um, small things, but they're going to be big differences in the long run. I think. In the end game is just to make sure that you can wear this shoe day in and day out, constantly wear them, play every single day, and just feel great. Make your feet feel great, make your body feel great, and just ultimately have that trust factor, not only in your golf game, but in the shoes you wear as well. So we're currently early on in the PGA Tour season. How would you assess your season thus far? Uh, I'd say uh, definitely better than, my, than last season. Um, you know, we've already been in contention a couple times early on in this 2023 year, and uh, that's the biggest thing is, is just giving myself more chances, being able to hopefully take a couple of those opportunities and, and close out a tournament. But, you know, the big goal for me is to, to go and win again. It's, it's been a while, and uh, we missed that feeling. We're itching, and uh, we're doing everything we can to get back up there. Now, I know Century didn't go the way you had planned. What can you take from that experience next time you're in the mix going forward and some of the lessons you learned from that? You know, it was just uh, it was a lot of bad timing. John obviously played really well, and uh, I just made some bogeys on some birdieable holes and the real bad timing of that. Um, but at the end of the day, you can't really do much. You know, you, you can only control what's in your control, and um, it's not like I would have played any differently. It's not like I would have played safe. Um, it's just really being able to play four rounds of really good golf and just wasn't able to do that uh, really for, you know, three to four holes, which uh, it's tough to swallow. But, you know, what? I'm going to look back at this and hopefully just kind of build better and uh, just hopefully win a lot, a lot more. And now winning a lot more leads to you being on team, uh, you know, for the, uh, the Ryder Cup, President's Cup. How much is that in your radar already this season? That's a huge goal. It's a huge goal of mine to make that Ryder Cup team, especially as it is in, in Rome on, on kind of that European soil. Um, I know they're out to, to make sure they have the best team and the best kind of repertoire and, and best really tools to, to beat us. But uh, I got to make that team first. So, you know, we got to start playing a little more consistent golf, a little bit longer uh, stretches of really good golf. And uh, hopefully we'll make that team come September. Well, it's an exciting night, Colin. Thanks for your time today. All the best here going forward. I appreciate it. Thank you.